Senator Whitman, what do you think of New Jersey's $7 billion offer? Well, it's very sweet. <laughs> and you have to look at how it's structured. Sometimes those kinds of things can work. But with the kind of budget challenges that we face and the promises that the new governor has made, it's going to be tough to uh, see how he works that into the budget in a successful way. But he could. And, uh, you know, it, it, it can work. Those kinds of things can work. It's just a question of your trade-offs and what you lose uh, in the state as far as your ability to fund other things that are priorities. What issues do you think, Governor Kane, this raises for the state and for New Jersey taxpayers? Well, you've got to make a decision as to whether or not you're going to try to buy these companies. Um, I don't think it's the best way to go. I think most companies move because it's going to be better for their workers. Uh, the tax climate is okay. The business climate is helpful in terms of regulation. There's a transportation system that works for them. I mean, there are all sorts of decisions that you make for your company. A bribe isn't necessarily going to do it, and I don't think this one will either. Well, New Jersey has location, has mass transit, an educated workforce. Is that the kind of incentive that could bring a company into the state and a whole campaign could be built around that and be successful? Well, it's hard to know. I mean, we had a program called the Business Improvement uh, Program and the BEEP Program, and what we did is we said, look, if you bring in X number of new jobs, you have to negotiate it with our uh, business development group and if you brought in a certain number of jobs and stayed, you could negotiate. We wouldn't take as much of the in new employees' income tax. It wasn't that we were giving anything away in the sense that it was money that we already had. This was money we wouldn't have been getting because these jobs wouldn't have been here. Your thoughts? I think we attracted 750,000 jobs when I was governor. For eight years, that's more, I think, than any other governor. And we worked on it. We had a whole division making presentations to other st uh, uh, to companies. We'd go in and get them, and they'd come out, and we'd show them where it could go and how it could help them. But it was roads. They needed roads. Uh, they wanted to be near good schools. Uh, they cared very much about tax climate. They didn't want what they called tax lightning, which was a governor of legislature going to increase taxes on them. Uh, and I always sold us as lower taxes in New York, and and they liked that. When you were governor, you took trade missions to other countries, um, the purpose to attract business, uh, lure it in, into New Jersey. Well, we found it very successful. And actually what amazed me is I always looked on trade missions as a way of starting a relationship, particularly not so much for the big cap companies. They were already in most of these countries. But the mid and small cap, the small cap particularly, they didn't even see how they could interrelate with the rest of the world. And we took a lot of them. And we'd have up to 100 companies, and we'd do up to 100 different meetings for them and set them up. And actually, some of them came back with contracts in hand, which is not something I ever expected. We did trade missions. We brought Samsung, who's still here. Uh, we brought Lucky Gold Star. We brought uh, Sharp Electronics. We brought a lot of companies out of the East who came, and came here and stayed here because it was a good business climate. Climate's not so good anymore. I mean, until change. we can improve no. that climate, I don't think we're going to get these people. No, I agree. I mean, in the, in the previous four years to my taking over, we'd lost 350,000 jobs in the mm -hmm. state. By the time I left, we'd had 450,000 come back to the state. So it was because mm -hmm. we changed the business yes. climate and said, we do care about you, and we're going to make it as friendly as we can without in any way hurting our citizens. Does New Jersey have a, a real shot at getting the Amazon contract? I think it's a very long shot because of the business climate. <laughs> and I don't think no matter how much money we give them, that's going to make up for the fact if they come here, they don't think their employees are going to be treated as well as they might be somewhere else. And they don't think the taxes and the regulations are as good as going to be somewhere else. So it's, a, it's going to be a real uphill battle. And I, and I think it will take some personal diplomacy by the new governor uh, to give us any chance at all. Does New Jersey have a good chance? It's going to be tough, but especially with the new governor coming in saying he's going to raise taxes on business and the wealthy. I mean, those are the two things that he's trying to attract with this deal and just what will not bring them here. So uh, that's the kind of thing that, that really is more important to them than, than money. I never wanted a pot of money. It, so many states give actual cash out. I never wanted that. I said there's not enough money in the world to bring them here. And that just doesn't make sense in the long term good of the state. So we shall see. Yeah. Thank you, Governor Whitman, <laughs> Governor Kane. Thank you.